by for just a moment. Such a nice trip 
uh, to the Adirondacks last week, and I couldn't believe that Dolores got in a canoe. That was pretty crazy, but uh, she did a great job, and safety first, wore a life jacket the whole time. Um, don't touch, she's not the best swimmer I've ever seen, but you know, you gotta start somewhere, right? So, but we're very glad to be back today, so. Uh, and I'm happy to get to sing with Jilly again. It's one of my favorite things to do. Speaking of, hi! Hi, Trish. Hi, Jilly. It's so nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, and we want to say hi to uh, Vicky and Dory, who joined us. So hi. Ah, you know, I didn't get to go on that trip last I, week. I know you didn't. No, but that's okay. Uh, you know, Shelvis and Bear and uh, some of our other friends had a nice time while you were away. You didn't have any big parties while you were gone, did you? No, but they did teach me how to play Pinochle. Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another thing we did was watch some baseball games on TV. Uh-huh. Do you guys like baseball? I can see you do, Trish. Yeah, and I have baseball earrings. Oh, too. look at that! Huh? <laughs> She's always so prepared for our themes. <laughs> Uh, well, Shelvis explained that here in New England, people like it when the Red Sox win. I like it. You like I, that? I do too. We even have a flag all yeah, about it. Yeah. Uh, but they haven't been winning much lately. Oh boy, no. That's terrible. I know. <laughs> What's up with that? I, I don't know. It's also weird. I don't even understand baseball, but I know they're not very good right now. <laughs> no. Um, so anyway, that reminded me of a song that I bet you know, and I bet you know. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Yeah. Should we sing it? Sure. We used to, we used to sing it at uh, the ballpark, but you know. Oh, mm -hmm. memories. Um, so let's sing it once the regular way. Okay. And then we'll sing it again with new words that I wrote. So you're doing like a Shelvis thing. Almost. Yeah! All right, all right. Uh, and everybody at home, sing along if you know it, okay? Okay. da da la da 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 la da 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 la da da Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. And it's root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Okay, now the other way. Okay, ready? Da la da da la da da la da da. We can't go to the ball game. Stay away from the crowd. We don't need peanuts or cracker jacks. Here at home we have lots of fun snacks. So we'll sit, sit, sit on our couch here, which really isn't the same. But I guess we're glad that baseball is back. So let's watch the game. Yay! Yay. That was fun. I had fun with Good you. Good job, Trish. Thanks. Sorry you. about all those chords. No, I, I learned a couple new ones for this one. You're so good. Oh, you're Isn't sweet. she so good? Very sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess all that's left for me to say is play ball. <laughs> okay. See you later. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Jimmy and Trish, everyone. Jimmy and Trish with another classic, classic song. Okay. 
away. Our refrigerator is running again. Always during the show. Better go catch it. Ah, uh, we want to say hi to Scott and his family and Lauren and Lucy and Grant. Yeah, uh, and Jilly is right. The Red Sox are having a tough time. Oh boy. Do you like baseball? Which team do you root, root, root for? Well, um, I don't really care about baseball, but in this house, we root for the Red Sox, like they said. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of baseball, what are we reading this week? Uh, anything about sports or being part of a team? Uh, I read the first book in the Little Rhino series called My New Team by Ryan and Crystal Howard, illustrated by Erwin Madrid. Yeah, and if you are a baseball fan, you might know that Ryan Howard is a former professional baseball player. Yeah, he played first base for the Philadelphia Phillies. So he knows a lot about being on a team. And uh, Crystal is his wife, who used to be a school teacher. Yeah. In the story, the main character, also named Ryan, goes by Little Rhino and loves to play baseball with his grandpa James. They practice catching and hitting, and Little Rhino pretends he's in the major leagues. Yeah. One day, Grandpa signs up Little Rhino for a baseball league. And the story is about how Little Rhino has to adjust to being part of a team and dealing with a bully. Boo to bullies. There's a lot of good stuff in there about working hard and teamwork and believing in yourself. So you should check it out. And if you like it, there are lots, lots more books in that series. Well, we've been talking a lot about baseball, so let's talk about some different sports. I'll go get LB and Hans to do that for us. Okay? I'll go get them. LB and Hans! Come on! Sports guys. All right, we got LB. But we still need, oh, we got Hans, I mean. But we still need LB. He's coming. He'll be right there. Hi everyone, hi, I am LB, and you know my friend Hans here. Hans, do you like sports? Oh, well, you're more of a gym workout guy, right? Yeah, you look like you lift. Well, since this is sports week, we thought we'd tell you some jokes about different sports. Good idea, right? Uh, so let's kick off the funny. See what I did there? Kick off. Uh, all right, here we go. What did the football coach say to the broken vending machine? Do you know? He said, I want my quarterback. <laughs> Get it? Quarterback. Okay, uh, why did the basketball player bring a suitcase to the game? So, uh, because he traveled a lot. Ha <laughs> Did you know that traveling is a thing that happens in basketball, Hans? It's when the player with the ball moves their feet without bouncing it. 
You have to bounce the ball all the time in basketball. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when is a baseball player, like Hugs, uh, like a spider? Do you know? When they catch a fly. Ha! Uh, what is the bug's favorite sport? Do you know? Do you know? It's cricket! Yeah. Do you know what cricket is, Hans? No. Uh, it's kind of like British baseball, but the bat is flat and uh, the pitcher is called a bowler. Confusing. Yeah. Uh, why are hockey rinks rounded? Because if they were 90 degrees, they would melt! Ha <laughs> Uh, and finally, why did the soccer ball quit the team? Do you know, Hans? Because it was tired of being kicked around. <laughs> oh, Hans liked that one. Uh, so, uh, you know who likes soccer is the Fuzzigers. Yeah. Uh, so we should clear out so they can stop by. So. Let's hit it, Hans. Let's go. See you later. Elby and Hans, everyone. Elby and Hans. Always entertaining. And the Fuzzingers will be right up. So give us just a moment. They're just putting on their soccer gear. Uh, hi, I'm Stan, I'm Dan, I'm Fred, and I'm Christine, and we're here to talk about soccer. Do you know why? Um, it's because you play soccer with your feet, which is great for us because, as you may have noticed, we don't really have arms. Well, you can use your head in soccer, we have heads. But uh, the goalie can use their hands. That's kind of an important part of their job. I am a very good goalie, even though I don't actually have hands. Um, I think maybe we should test that theory. Uh, what do you guys think? Oh, definitely. Put your money where your mouth is, Christine. Okay, fine. Bring it on. Let's play. Let's see if you can get the ball past me. Oh, you got it. You got it. Who did? Oh. Who did? Yeah, I take it back to you. Uh, I blocked it. Ha, huh? see, I'm a good goalie. Good goalie. Oh, you can do better than backups. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Who oh, no. did? Bring it back on the field. Bring it back on the field. Plus our ball. We can't very well play without a ball now, can we? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's back! It's back! It's magic! Trish is magic. <laughs> okay, one more kick, guys. Just try to get it past me. Oh, you just wait. Here it comes. Oh, no! Oh, no! Go! Curses! Boiled again, and I would have blocked it too if it weren't for you fuzzingers being so distracting. All right, all right, enough showboating. You proved your point. Yellow card! What? That does not even make any kind of sense. Oh no, we've lost, we got a player down. They're just so exhausting. 
from all the playing. Well, um, I guess we better go wash our shin guards or something. So, uh, the end. Thank you. We had to carry Fran off the field. The Fuzzingers! Everyone! The Fuzzingers! <coughs> and coming up next, we have our good friend, ah, Frankly! So hold on, he'll be right out. to talk about sports, but I guess that's okay. <sighs> Dolores told me to talk to you about, guess what, Puppet Showplace Theater. I know, I know, you're all tired of hearing about it. I get that. But uh, there's still some great stuff going on, and uh, they still really need your money. Yeah. So here I am. <sighs> Puppet Show Place is in Brookline and blah, blah, blah. You already know all that. Uh, but you might not know that this Sunday, August 23rd at uh, 3 p.m. is the last Puppet Show and Tell. Uh, so boo for the last one, but it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's with Wonderspark Puppets, who will be performing online from New York City. Yeah, they're doing a show called Mystery Max and the Case of the Missing Birthday, which sounds kind of interesting, actually. So check it out at W www.puppetshowplace.org. You probably have that memorized by now. Uh, and while you're there, you know, you may as well make a donation to the emergency fund. Uh, and not that anyone asked, but my favorite sport is croquet. Yeah, those wickets really help aerate the lawn. So, uh, thanks, I guess. And now, back to Dolores. Okay. And that was, frankly, to host any pledge drag soon. <laughs> you are so right. He's not exactly enthusiastic. No. Uh, but now it's time to bring out Trish again to talk about birthdays. Yeah. Trish again. Hi, Dolores. Hi, Trish. <clears throat> you survived the trip back from the Adirondacks. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, I did. There you go. And I got a new t-shirt out of the deal. You did? That's yeah. true. But you're not wearing it now. No, because today is sports. Sports. Sports yeah. ball. And so you are representing two sports right now. I'm representing the same sports that are behind us. Yeah. So I have baseball in my head, but hockey in my heart. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> So we have lots of birthdays 
As usual. I know, a couple of important ones. Well, I mean, they're all They're important. all important, but some are people we know better than others. Yeah. So, uh, last week, our good friend Nick turned 11. Wow, he's getting so grown up. I know he is. Yeah. And Monday was Jennifer's birthday. And today is Sandy's birthday. Yay, Sandy! Also today is Michael's birthday. He's in the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Uh, also today is John Henry and Eric. Yeah. Then tomorrow is Christy. And Friday is another Jennifer. Then Saturday is Kevin. And Sunday, Raquel turns 50. Wow! Oh my goodness. And another Eric on Sunday. Shall we sing to them? Let, let's sing. Okay. Ready? Ready. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Nick and Jennifer and Sandy and Michael and John Henry and Eric and Christy and Jennifer and Kevin and Raquel and Eric again. Hey, happy birthday to all of you. like sports. And as always, don't forget to listen to each other and stand up for each other and be kind to each other. And wear your masks and wash those hands for goodness sake. <laughs> okay, should we sing the closing song? I would love to sing the closing song. Okay. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Ask Dolores and friends.